So today I'm going to be teaching you a type of deep breathing technique called finger tracing. There are many ways to be able to do finger tracing, so I'll show you um, two of the versions that I like to use and show my patients as well. Um, with the deep breathing technique, this is a really great way to help regulate our nervous system when we are feeling stressed, um, anxious, or we just need a moment of calmness and still. This can be done anywhere and it can be done discreetly um, at any time of the day. All you need to be able to do is um, be able to trace your hand. So with the first version, I'm going to show you um, we only need to be able to trace with one hand. Um, you can do your right or your left hand, whatever is most comfortable for you. And I'm going to show with my left hand. So with this one, we're going to take our thumb and we're gonna trace up our index finger. And when we trace up, this is when we inhale. And then when we trace back down, this is when we exhale. And we're gonna go trace up our middle finger, breathing in, tracing back down, we're going to exhale. And then the same with our ring finger, tracing upwards, we're breathing inwards, and then going back down, we're exhaling. And then again with our pinky. Inhale and exhale. And then with this, we can go start back at our index finger. So we're gonna try this for three rounds. Breathing in. And exhaling through our mouth. Inhaling. And one more time. What I really like about this one is that you can trace up and down your finger as quickly or as slowly as you need to, whatever feels the most comfortable in the moment. And you also don't have to put your hands up in the air. I just showed mine up for demonstration purposes, but you can actually have it down in your lap and you can discreetly trace your fingers and do your deep breathing. You can also close your eyes if that feels the most comfortable for you as well as you're just tracing up and down your fingers. With the other hand tracing, uh, finger tracing technique, this one you are going to need two hands. So it's a similar concept where we're gonna take our finger um, and trace our hand. When we trace upwards, we're gonna inhale, and then when we go down, we're going to exhale. And with this again, you can trace your hand as quickly or as slowly as you need to and at the beat of your own, um, your own breath and your own pace. So going up my middle finger, I'm just breathing in and breathing out, breathing in. Breathing outwards, breathing in, and breathing out. And then we can trace up and down, back the other way of our hand. And just going at the pace that you need to in the moment. You do not have to rush this. But you can trace your hand till we reach our thumb again and then tracing one more time around so that we're doing this for three rounds as we're tracing our fingers. And it's very helpful if you're able to breathe in through the nose when you're going in for the inhale and breathing out through our mouth when we're going for the exhale. 
and that just helps to ensure that we're breathing very deeply inwards and outwards. I hope that this has been helpful and I hope that you're able to add this finger tracing technique for your deep breathing strategies in the future to help regulate your nervous system. Remember, we can do the finger tracing where we do it with one hand, like so. Or we can also do the finger tracing where we do it with two hands and trace it like so. And it just helps to provide that external focus so that we have something um, to keep our peace with our breathing. Thank you for joining me.